everyone, welcome back to AFX Market Watch and charting trend signals around the world. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It is absolutely fantastic to have you here, checking out the markets, um, seeing where the world is heading from a chartist point of view. Guys, thank you so much for your emails. And um, you know, it's, it's great to know that, um, that you get a little bit out of this every week. Um, you know, if I haven't posted for the last couple of weeks, it's just because not much has changed. Uh, and in fact, let's just jump straight into it because there's so much gold to get through uh, this week really quickly. Um, well, basically, what did we do? Like over the last couple of weeks, we called a sh uh, our entry signal, our first entry signal on the All Ordinaries back in May 2011. Our uh, exit signal, sorry, my apologies. This little zigzag pattern down here was our exit signal. Um, and then further to that, it was probably about a month, or around about a month ago, we called another exit signal way back here in, uh, in July 2011. Now, that exit signal was an exit signal that I called. However, what I wanted, I actually wanted the market to head up. And unfortunately, the market does not do what you want. It does what the market wants. <laughs> and you have to follow the market, not what you want or not impose your own will onto the market. Uh, and so what happened? Well, of course, the market did what it wanted and it followed, um, it followed the signal that it gave and it tanked. It absolutely tanked. Now, there's one thing on the All Ordinaries that I did not go into. I have gone into it before and it's this single bar here. This single bar is what's known as a, a single bar reversal. Um, it, it's known in candlestick terminology, it's known in some bar chart terminology, um, but basically the idea behind it is um, actually what I'll do is I'll just get a better, there we go. See that, that top of the bar, because it's started high and then it's gone down throughout the day and then it's closed on its highs. And I was literally talking to a financial planner friend of mine and, um, and I was saying, look, this is what we're looking out for. And it was literally the day that I was talking to him about this, that it actually happened. And he called me back and he said, Dave, is this, is this the, the day that we're looking for? And I'm like, yes, indeed, my friend. This is the day that is the uh, single bar reversal. That's what you're looking for for a bottom in the market. Now, at least a short-term bottom. Do not get me wrong here, guys. It's a short-term bottom only. What you would usually do is um, set your entry signal at the top of the bar and your exit signal, your stop loss, at the bottom of the bar. Now, when you're buying stocks um, using this method, um, it, it is a very short-term entry signal. Um, you would still be looking for strong sectors, in other words, gold or materials on the All Ordinaries. Um, that's what I was doing personally. Uh, and yeah, so basically that's, and usually stocks that are also outperforming the overall market, meaning that money is flowing into those stocks because they're outperforming the overall market. Uh, and so, yeah, in other words, I hope that makes sense. It's very simple, simple stuff. Um, but guys, if you use it to your advantage, um, it can have massive effects, like huge effects on your portfolio, way, way better than anything else. And, you know, extremely simple, which is the best part. So what have we got now? Obviously, we've had that short-term entry signal. That's fantastic. Um, you know, again, it's only a short-term entry signal. What we're looking for now, guys, is, uh, is a more longer term, like a, a long-term entry signal. And that is something that I'm not sure that we're actually going to get. Um, what we're looking at at the moment, see this downtrend line, that's our resistance. We're gonna have this resistance at the downtrend line at about 44, uh, 4,450 basically. Uh, and what we've got at the moment as well, see, look at these, look at these bars, long tail, long tail, long tail, long tail, long tail. Um, it's basically, look at these bars, they're the opposite of this bar down here. This one is an, a huge bar, which is why it was so powerful. Um, and it was the exact bottom. So if you wanna know how to, how to find the exact bottom, that's a great bar to do it with. Um, a very hard thing to do, um, but it's made a lot easier with that single bar. Now these little, these little long tailed bars, because they're closing low, they're starting low, going up throughout the day, closing low. It means that the smart money is coming in. It's basically selling, it's selling into the strength. Um, and that's why I don't think that we're going to be able to get past this, this downtrend resistance. Um, what that means, again, uh, what we're looking for for a, a, a longer term entry signal is um, you see how, see up here how we've had this zigzag down but it's happened over the period of about about um, around about a little over a month probably a month and a half to two months um, now what we're looking for for an entry signal is the exact reverse of that guys so we've had 
a little up move. We've got our down move. Uh, however long this down move is going to go for, if we're going to see a more medium term entry signal, it would have to go over more than a month and a half, around about a month and a half to two months, um, and it would have to be that little zigzag pattern up, and it would have to also go through a downtrend resistance. Um, until then, guys, I am flat in the market at the moment, um, apart from the few stocks that um, that. You know, the gold stocks mainly, gold has been going really well. Um, the, the stocks that you might have bought at this time, um, yeah, there's not a lot else going on in the market. Just a few setups, but that's basically it. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, basically, we've got a lot of support at the bottom of this level. And if we want to look at a really long-term picture on the All Ordinaries, this is the longer term, this super, super long-term uptrend. This is where price will tend to revert to over time, believe it or not. Um, you know, you can look at any sort of fundamental factors. They really won't do you much good. But if you look at this, um, this sort of slow, gradual uh, line upwards, this is where the market tends to find support. And um, it starts way back in the 80s, so literally from 1980 through to today. And the support level is, woohoo, there we go, uh, around about 3,700. So um, yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, if we get a, a break down to 3,700, that's where I would expect to find super, super solid support. Uh, until then, guys, yeah, you've just got to follow the market and do what it tells you. Don't fight it, because, um, you know, it, it really wants to help you out at the end of the day. <laughs> um, really quickly, we've got all our other ones at the moment. Dow Jones, um, what does this look like to you guys? I mean, goodness gracious, this is not looking good. Hello there, that looks like a down a down move, a little consolidation pattern. And what happens after a consolidation pattern? That's right, more down moves. Um, at least that's the, the highest probability move on the Dow Jones. Um, also, what did we get here? Down move, peak, little zigzag pattern down. Happened over more than a month and a half to two months. Super solid exit signal according to Charles Dow. Um, Charles Dow, of course, from his writings in the late 1800s, um, absolutely fantastic stuff, um, and was so popular that he became one half of the Dow Jones Index. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, at least, yeah, basically, that's pretty much the Dow Jones. We've got that down move, and it's not looking good at the moment. Um, but with this little break, as you can see, if it breaks just below these bars here, that would really be a bit of a trigger for more down moves. Um, and you, the highest prob probability move as well, even though it's moved so far already, it would usually go around about 100% again. So our next level of support on the Dow Jones would be around 9,900 right there. Hope that makes sense on the Dow Jones. Very simple stuff. Um, really quickly, the FTSE again, uh, looking very similar. And again, what do we have? We called it a couple of weeks ago. Little zigzag pattern down. That was our exit signal. Happened over more than a month and a half to two months. Uh, and yeah, that was our Dow Theory exit. That's a super solid exit signal. And what did we get since then? The market absolutely tanked. Yes, indeed. Uh, and a couple of weeks ago as well, if you check this out, guys, for the savvy amongst you, what does this single bar look like to you? That's right. Starts high, goes down throughout the day, closes high. That's your, um, that's your really short-term entry signal. But what have we got at the moment? That entry signal hasn't really turned into a solid entry signal. It has turned into a continuation pattern. Exactly right! You guys know what's going on here. <laughs> You've got the goods already. You already know what's going on. You don't need me here. You've, uh... Yeah, you've already got all the information you need. What happens? We get more downward moves. Usually, that's the highest probability move. What I would say, because check this out, we've got this massive support at uh, 4,800. And again, massive support at 4,800 just recently. So I would expect that the market, if it does break down, it would find support again at 4,800. Um, yeah, basically that's your FTSE at the moment. Um, and again, if it does break down, but then if it comes back up, so like a little zigzag pattern down, but then up, that would be our solid move over more than a month and a half. That would be um, basically your new Dow Theory entry move. But that has yet to happen. That's just what, you, that's just what you're looking out for, guys. Uh, it's not what I'm expecting. 
but if it does happen, you know um, you know that it's a, a bit of a more solid entry signal, which is what you're looking out for. Um, take that information, use it if you can, and practice with it. And if it works for you, use it. Guys, um, absolutely fantastic to chat to you. Again, I love checking out the markets with you. Um, please stop by the site. It'd be great to have you there. Apart from that, when something happens in the market, we will be there. And if the trend changes, we will be right at the forefront of that change. Um, so until then, I will bid thee good day, my friends. <laughs> Bye for now.